Uh, lesson 3 for Dreaming Out Loud, I'm Mark Wilson. Uh, once I made the bracket, there it is over there on the, uh, the little uh, icon there, uh, that particular bracket. Once I've done that, I always I have a conventional workshop in the backyard of my house. I have a milling machine and a lathe and stuff like that, and I build clocks to give you some idea. Um, this is some of the work I work on. Uh, this is the uh, particular gear train for a um, sidereal train, and a sidereal train is it's a ratio that works out to be 4 minutes and 4 seconds less than 24 hours, so these particular wheels and uh, make up that ratio. Um, in um, a Libre we also have a mechanical constraints, so if I actually grab some of these things, I think I'll put this on there, you'll see that this these wheels, if I can pull that around there, are actually mechanically um, bound to each other and so as I rotate different components you'll see them uh, uh, rotating together. Uh, that's another thing that Libre has uh, along with other cat packages, packages as well. But uh, you'll see a bunch of wheels here and you'll see they're all sort of in mesh and what have you. And they're clock wheels and clock leaves. So we're a little bit uh, they're quite steep looking things. Um, you see that there's a just a radius over the top there. They're quite a sort of simplified gear form, but that's the sort of thing I work at with uh, in uh, in my workshop. Now, back to the drawings. Let's just close that down. I will just save that one there. That'll drop back out again. I hope. No, it won't. We'll just we close that one down. Close window. What I want to do is make a drawing a 2D drawing of that particular feature I just made before. So we'll go on to the drawing environment, 2D draft document. Let's keep it really simple. We'll do a, a blank A4 landscape. Scale 1 to 1, that'll do. We won't do anything fancy. This is just, a, uh, just to show you what it can do. So we'll go OK. Uh, it wants a uh, name uh, no, we need a part first. Now I did, th I called that last part, I did crap, and I keep, I keep, uh, it's just a junk file, I call triple A crap, because it's always on the desktop and it's easy to see, and uh, with a triple A on the front of it, it always comes up with the, the first one on the list there, and I save that part as crap. So we'll just double click on that um, and open that. Now it comes up with the view there. That particular view is the center view here. We would like a top view. Top view. A that one there. And this one. And hopefully that's going to work. So we should have uh, uh, this side view here. And this is in third angle projection. Uh, that's the standard one I think it comes with. I selected the defaults to make it that anyway. And it's coming up with here, I think it's on stand at the moment. Yes, it is. Uh, that will do us. Okay. And of course, you can see it's sort of coming up with an image there. And I'll just click it in the middle. And there is the, the, uh, the four views of my part. I can move them around. It is relatively easy to dimension this, uh, put center lines on and what have you. I've played around with this, it's, it's no problem at all. And uh, you can make a 2D document, no problem at all. I'm going to leave it at that because you know, I won't get into to dimensioning too much. That's a long, a, lot way, a long way down the track before you start playing around with things like that. I'm Mark Wilson and thanks for watching.